Friends, I'm glad you could tune in to uh, watch this today. What I want to do is just give you a brief overview of where we are in our study of the book of Acts. Uh, if you were with us at Christ Church this past Sunday, uh, we were looking at Acts chapter 12, and we were really focusing on the importance of prayer, and in particular, the importance of corporate prayer. Uh, I hope you were motivated by that and, and encouraged by it and even convicted by it and the importance of praying. Uh, if, you, if you weren't with us this last Sunday, I um, encourage you to get to the website uh, where you can, you can either listen to the sermon or you can uh, watch the sermon online there. Uh, but as we turn our attention to this coming Sunday, what we're going to be doing this coming Sunday at Christ Church is uh, focusing on Acts chapter 13. Uh, and as we, as we get to Acts chapter 13, what we need to remind ourselves of um, is, is what we've come back to repeatedly in this study, and that's Jesus' programmatic statement that he makes in Acts chapter 1 verse 8. When he says to his disciples, he says that you're going to be my witnesses beginning in Jerusalem and in all Judea and Samaria and to the very end of the earth. And, and what we've seen over the, the last month or so is that that last portion of Jesus' statement to the very end of the earth really starting to come true. We saw it a little bit with Philip and the Ethiopian eunuch. Uh, we, we saw it even more with uh, Peter and, and the Gentile Cornelius. Uh, we saw it uh, with the establishment of the church in Antioch. But as we move into Acts chapter 13, we're really going to see this start to come true because what happens when we get to Acts chapter 13 is we have Paul's first missionary journey. Uh, the Apostle Paul took three missionary journeys. Uh, the first missionary journey is covered in Acts chapters 13 and 14. And so what we're going to do with Acts chapter 13 is we're going to spend two weeks looking at this chapter, both this upcoming week and then the following week. And so one of the ways that you can really prepare yourself uh, for these upcoming weeks is, is just to read through all of Acts 13. Uh, really familiarize yourself with it. Get a sense of what's going on because we're going to be taking little portions of it. We're going to chop it up in some ways uh, as we work through it. So read through it. Uh, get to know what's going on there. And as you read through it, read, read through it with a, a Bible uh, map next to you. Uh, have a map of, of all the places that Paul is going. Uh, you should be able to find a good map in the back of your Bible. Uh, if you don't have one of those, uh, the ESV uh, Bible Atlas is excellent. It'll give you a sense of all those different places that Paul is going and really help to bring some of those things uh, and those stories and events uh, to life for you. So I encourage you to prepare yourself uh, for uh, this coming Sunday in that way. Uh, as we finish up, I also want to invite you to uh, tune in next week uh, as I have a special Lent message for you. Uh, we begin the season of Lent next Wednesday, and uh, I'll have a special Lent video for you then. So uh, know that I'm praying for you this week as you're out on mission in the city. And uh, friends, I look forward to seeing you on Sunday. Uh, the Lord's blessings be with you.